SDAR, SDAR, war, star, war. Between US and Russia. Uh, the word about star war, right? In 1980, uh, that was the, uh, the star war time between the US and Russia. So Russia also uh, had its, its own Star Wars program, and U.S., NASA, Air Force, Navy, everybody has a Star Wars program. And a Star Wars program means in space, you are using the satellite, the satellite, right, move around, uh, shooting, use, using the uh, what? Using the, uh, the laser or, or, or some uh, rocket. Then the, uh, the satellite will involve very fast move. Right? Because the, uh, the rocket now already launched from Russia. So, US in, 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 in the, the satellite in space, they're going to move from one angle to another angle. I look at the, uh, the rocket, say, oh, this is rocket, and I, I got to do something about it. And that fast move in space is not as easy as on the ground, you have a ground sit there and it move, that's it, this, can't do that. And also, in general, the, uh, the satellite in space, they are more, because they are very light, so they are more flexible like a space station, right? Space station is huge, but they are very light and easy to get excited, you know, to get something uh, hit it. The whole space station may be moved around. Then how can you control that? So this is the, uh, the one when I was involved in that, we call the, uh, like the Star Wars program, where well, I wasn't really involved in real war. It's just in the research. How can we uh, fast move a uh, antenna from one angle to another angle quickly in few seconds, for example? And this is the uh, one type of design. So you can you can see there's a steel beam. The steel beam means the flexible beam, just like a, a fishing pole, not fishing pole, right? It's very flexible. Now in this beam, I will show you the real sense. You know, this is just a sketch. In this one here, you can see that on the root of the steel beam, there's a strength gauge and there's a strength rate gauge. And this, this is the sensor to sense the motion of the beam. Then from this, then each signal come in will multiply again, that gain can be less than one, can be larger than one, and then sum them together, there's some we call potentiometer, Poten potentiometer measure the angle of this, this beam. So we have a strain gauge to measure strain, we have strain rate gauge to measure strain rate, we have potentiometer measure the angle, we have tachometer measure the angular velocity. Right. With all these sensor information, to, information together, then we add them, and then we feed back to my model. So, how much torque I have to drive the beam. Now, if you look at this, we have a many gain. Gain one, gain two, gain three, gain four, gain five. We have totally one, two, three, four, five gains. How much per gain? It's one, it's two, three, point five, point three, minus point one, minus point five, all kind of different values. How can you how can you how can you calculate those values necessary so that I can drive the model so that the beam will move 
as I wish. That's the control design. That's what we call control design. Now you have learned from this class how you calculate the gain necessary to drive your model. So this potentiometer, this strain gauge, this strain rate gauge, this tachometer we call sensors. This model we call input, our actuators. So we have sensor as our output. We have model as our input. So we have output and input. Matter of fact, matter of fact, everybody, including you, sit in here. You are a good controller. Otherwise, you won't be able to walk. Right? You look at the target, you look at where you are going, how your feet will move. Because you have feedback in your brain. Your brain will calculate how you move your feet. Right? Do you have any differential equation in your brain? Huh? No? Yes? You don't think so? Yes or no? If I give a midterm exam, your brain uh, use uh, some uh, differential equation there, you solve there, and then you move. It's, it's true or false. So this, in here, this is simple, just a simple figure, tell you what we mean the output, what we mean the input. The output, all the sensors give you the output. The model gives you the input. So in any system, most of the system, you can have more sensors than the model, than the actuators. Okay, now this is the NASA, uh, the uh, student project. We have NASA logo there. And you can see there are, there are some four, one, two, three, four, and five, I think five, the sensors. So they have a switch to switch on and off. And uh, there's, uh, this is, uh, this is the, uh, some of the uh, other, uh, uh, I call also switch to uh, 